Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of Let's Learn the Mods. Um, my channel has been asking a lot for um, research tutorials on Thomcraft, so I figured now is as good of time as any for me to start my um, my Thomcraft segment. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next few episodes. I don't know how long this is going to go. There is quite a bit to Thomcraft that I um, that I would prefer not to condense into. Um, large videos because the whole goal of this um, this series is to uh, just do like short segments so it's easy to find info. So to start off with Thomcraft you need your iron capped wand, wooden wand, you can get this right off the bat, you just need like two iron ingots, put them into nuggets and you're good to go. You then right click the bookshelf. This will give you a Thomonomicon. The Thomonomicon is your basic guide to, um, to all things Thomcraft. It literally has everything in here you need to know. So, if we open it up, we'll see a whole slew of stuff um, and then a bunch of tabs over here. Let's start off with basic information. Um, our main focus right now is aspects of magic. Aspects of magic can be found by researching things in the world um, as well as combining aspects um, into different forms. Um, I'll explain how to do that in a bit. You start off with Air, Aqua, Ignis, Order, and Perdito and Terra. These are all your base primal aspects. You can't combine anything to get them. You can only um, um, research them. So, um, alright, what are aspects used for exactly, you might be asking. Well, they're used in research. To start with research, you need a scribing tool and two tables. So set the tables down like this, set the scribing tool down on the table, and there we go. Okay, so we have this table and we're agreed with a nice little GUI uh, when we open it up. Put the paper up here and also keep the scribing tools here. Eventually it'll lose durability and you won't be able to combine aspects, do research, move um, runes on the on the paper. So um, if you're not able to do any of that, just take your scribing tool out and then combine it with an ink sack and a crafting grid and you're pretty much good to go after that. Alright, so let's begin by um, combining aspects. So, it kind of takes a little bit of intuition and sometimes luck um, to combine aspects into something. It's, it's really more of like luck than anything. That or you could just use a cheat sheet online. It's really up to you. I know that air and fire create lux, so there we go, we got lux. Uh, we now have that research. Um, I know earth and water create victus, and as you can see we're getting these. Um, now let's go into the Thomonomicon. Before we only had in the aspects of magic um, the base mat, um, aspects, right? Well if we look now, as you see we have victus. Um, and Lux, which we combined and we have. You see the number there, it's two, that means we have that many of that um, that uh, aspect. Okay, so how else do you get research? Well, as you can see, like we have a really low amount of stuff. This is not nearly enough to complete much of anything. So what you do is you'll go around and roll with, um, rolled with your item called the thermometer. Uh, basically what this does, it allows you to research items in the world. Each item has um, different aspects related to it. Um, for example, Cobblestone has Perdito and Saxum. We didn't know Saxum before, but, we, but because we had the base aspects required to make Saxum, we were able to discover Axum, Saxum. As, we can also research grass blocks, which as you can see at the bottom right, right there, we don't have all the knowledge required to understand it. That's basically we're missing something. Um, we're missing an aspect that uh, allows us to research grass block. Let's go down here and research bedrock. Bedrock is awesome. See that gives so much. We got um, we got a ton of base aspects as well as some vacuous. Um, and if we go into our thomonomicon, vacuous should be in there as well as saxum. See we got saxum, we got vacuous, and it tells us how to make it. All right. So, uh, let's do a little more research. Um, let's just get a bunch of aspects, I think. Um, eh, let, let's just go with this, I think. Well, I'll just do like a couple, 
research things for you guys. Oh, and before that, um, also always carry around the scribing tools and a paper with you. Um, the reason you want to do that is when you're researching things in the world, uh, randomly you'll get research notes. It's not all that common, but it's a good thing to do. All right, so let's start with this. To start with your research, um, you kind of need to choose one element and say, hey, I think this is in one thing or I'm kind of going for something that involves fire. So we'll click over fire and we're greeted with something extremely hard to start off with. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. We'll get to you in a second. Give me another thing. Really? Come on. All right. Let's, I, I know Lux is easy, so let's do that. Okay. You, you apparently hate me today. Really? Really, game? Are right, you actually going to do this to me? Thank you. Okay. Finally. All right. So I just click Lux over. So the one thing we know for sure is there's Lux in it. So what we're going to want to do is get a couple more Lux. There we go. Then we'll click Lux into there. This will um, cause the node that um, the node that is Lux to shine. Now um, each research ha um, has different ruins for different aspects. Um, if you do a different um, research and you get that um, rune right there, it won't always be Lux. Um, it's only going to be Lux for this specific research right here. And if I toss this away and try this again, Lux would not be this symbol. It would be something else. So keep that in mind when you do it. Well, we need to now move this so we can connect the light blue dot to the black dot. Unfortunately, it's activated. Um, you only get to move it when you actually have, um, when it's activated, when you have um, research that is deeper down in the tree. Um, I believe it's, do, 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 do. it's somewhere around here. It's like um, this one or maybe a little further in. So let's deactivate the Lux. To deactivate the Lux so we can move it, you just put um, Lux in the thing and then you click it again. This will deactivate it. Now we can move it around. Um, and then we just place Lux in between here. Now lines can bridge a one um, blank gap. So keep that in mind. Um, you can do down one and over to the side. That, that'll that work. So activate Lux again. And there, we completed Night Tour. All right, click that on. And this will be deleted if um, if you weren't in creative. So keep that in mind. So now we know Night Tour. And if we go into our Thaumonomicon, and I believe it's, oh, here it is. It's in the Alchemy tab. See, Night Tour is now revealed. And we now know how to make Night Tour. So good to know. All right, so let's try one of the harder ones. Um, okay, Ignis Fuel. I don't know all the aspects for this, so bear with me. I'm probably not going to complete this research. I'm just going to kind of demo it. So we know for sure there's fire. Okay, that's so much fire. All right, so all these symbols are fire. So we just need to move them around. All right. It's good. I guess it's a good thing I, I found this um, research because I, I was planning on hoping to do a hard one anyways for you guys. All right, so when you're trying to bridge gaps for each one, keep in mind that you can't have one rune connected to two things as well as a node. It'll only either connect to two things or um, one thing and a node or one rune and a node. So keep that in mind when you're doing your research. Um, so then we do it like this. And then that'll bridge right there. Move this over. That'll bridge to there. And then I believe there was one more. Yeah, right here. Okay. No, actually, there was two more. I see the other one. Okay, so move that down. Over and down. All right, so good. And I'm also going to use an example where you're getting things that you don't want to connect to connect that um, that connect. So um, I'm going to show you how to cause it to not connect, basically. So these should connect. I'll show you how to um, get them to not connect. All right, and then move this one over here, and this one goes here, and move that. Also keep in mind that there are some research that are literally impossible to complete. Um, research can hold anywhere between one to four aspects, uh, maybe more. I don't think I've ever seen anything with five aspects. I, I have seen things with three or four. So keep that in mind. There, um, there may be research that you do run into that literally seem impossible to complete, um, and 
it literally might be impossible to complete. All right, see, as you can see, this is connecting and this isn't ideal. So to get that to not connect, what you do is you bring a ruin over here to block it. See, now that that's blocked off, um, it, it can um, go around here. All right, so let's try to see if we can do this a little better. Um, that I want that won't connect. I don't think. I don't think that will. Oh, see, it's connecting again. Uh, now this is unideal, so um, we're gonna have to move that ignis back into where it was. That'll connect though, so that's fine. There we go. All right. So we're missing one thing. I don't know what it is. Oh, you know, it might be potentia. Let's see. Do we have potentia researched yet? Let's see. No, we don't. Okay. So. I do know that coal is a great source of potentia. So we're going to research coal. Give me potentia. All right, there we go. We got potentia. Sweet. So, and as before, look in your thumb and omicron. Potentia will be there. Right there. Order an Ignis. All right, so it might be potentia. Nope, it's not, unfortunately. Lux, no. I honestly have no clue what this could be. This could even be a research that you literally can't complete. I don't know. But that's the basic gist um, that you need to know about research. Connect the dots. Um, don't try to um, connect two runes and a node at the same time. It just simply won't work. Um, and to show, uh, as you can see, scribing tools are getting low in durability because we've been moving runes around and whatnot. So to, um, to kind of fix that durability, as I said before, combine that with an ink sack and you're good to go. Put it back into the thing. There we go. Um, well, let's see. Yeah, no, I, I don't know what it is, and I'm not going to bother um, researching other things. Oh, one thing I did want to point out, red herrings. Red herrings are things that you think might work, but actually don't work. They're not part of the research. What it'll do is it'll um, it'll take the ruins that were represented for or order on here, if it's a red herring, and remove them. So keep that in mind. So like if something was connecting, uh, like you were using one of these runes to not connect one thing before and all of a sudden disappears and your thing goes haywire, um, don't worry, just get another rune and put it right there. But that's basically all I wanted to cover for today. So um, I hope this was helpful and have a good day.